I am reading through my comments right now, and one of you has suggested every room is a different pack, but you can't use that pack. And if you're like me, you probably are like, wait, what do you mean? That means like, if we roll outdoor retreat, we have to make it look like outdoor retreat without actually using outdoor retreat. This could be really fun. So we have our shell, and for the exterior, we are going to be doing or not doing cottage living. We have to make this look like a cottage, but without cottage living. I do think it's nice that we have this roof in the base game because it's somewhat similar to that one from Cottage Living. I'm gonna use this thatch roof fringe from Island Living to kind of create that look too, though it is looking a little beachy right now. I feel like this brick from Horse Ranch is kind of a combination of that one from Cottage Living and that one from Cottage Living. That is our Cottage Living fence. Maybe Horse Ranch comes in clutch again? I don't know. Something we can do in the base game for free that actually might make this a little more cottage-like is curving the roof like that. And then if you didn't know, you can actually hit shift C on your keyboard and it brings up even more customization options. I love this seaside cottage flooring. Look how good it looks. However, we are not allowed to use it. I just realized if I leave these windows green, they're also gonna be green on the inside. And it's like, what if I didn't want them to be green on the inside? Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Are you hearing? I love the like whimsy of this terrain paint from Cottage Living, like with the really nice pink flowers underneath and the stones all scattered there. I'm almost thinking, what if we go and use this sprouted grass, grass from Eco Lifestyle and like replace our grass with that so we still get the cute little flowers, obviously not as many, but I feel like maybe that will really help us. We have ivy from university. I remember the ivy in Cottage Living is like so pretty. So let's maybe do some of this from university. Here is what we're looking at with our landscaping right now. I wonder if like this from Romantic Garden, I almost just called it Romantic Retreat, or maybe we can do this bench from Get Together. We can do the like log table. And then we have an item from Growing Together that I feel like really works with Cottage Living. And it's this one with the little mushroom. Like that's a Cottage Living item. You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong. That is an item that probably was meant to go with Cottage Living. We definitely don't need a very cluttered front porch. So I think that is our Cottage Living exterior that uses absolutely none of Cottage Living. Let's come into the entryway. We are not going to be using movie hangout stuff. If you don't have movie hangout stuff, this is the vibe. Extremely colorful, extremely patterned. So first things first, I want something colorful on the walls. I'm wondering if maybe stuff from decor to the max could help us out. Probably should get some lights in here, huh? I mean, that's definitely a color scheme that you possibly would maybe see in movie hangout. There is the one floor decal I was just looking at from City Living that I feel like has those swatches, that type of pattern. Wait a minute. That's like so similar to these patterns on here. Well, maybe we keep it fun on the walls, but we just do that. Entryway table, maybe this from Paranormal. This is the vibe that we're going for again. See how nicely that fits in there? And then this is the mirror in Movie Hangout, which is really fun. It's like cute. It's small though. Maybe we could do the Moschino one. I feel like that definitely has a vibe. Our vibe? I don't know, but it has a vibe. I want to do this big plant because there's a big plant in Movie Hangout that can never fit anywhere. So we'll do that big plant from the base game. And then over here, we do have those big movie posters. So maybe these like city living ones could kind of be that same vibe. You've probably heard me mention it if you've been watching for a while, but I do really like these movie hangout curtains. They're some of the only ones I like in the game. We do have these ones from the base game that are quite similar. As for the clutter items, we have like small plants, some books, and some candles. And now this candle is actually set in like a gem. So I'm wondering if maybe we take this Corandestine from Get to Work and we can put that there and then get, I don't know, maybe this like little candle from the bathroom clutter kit and get our candle in there somehow, some way. That actually doesn't look that bad. Maybe jot that build tip down. Check the name of the channel that you're watching right now and then ask what else we need in the entryway. If this is in fact the Sarah Kendall YouTube channel, we are in fact gonna need a shoe rack. If this is in fact the Sarah Kendall YouTube channel, we are in fact going to need a coat rack. Check one more time if you're not sure, but we also might need the umbrella rack in the Sarah Kendall entryway. We just have to have it. I don't make the rules. I do make the rules actually. Last thing I wanted to add was a poof of some sorts because I really do love the movie Hangout Poof. Ooh, maybe the nifty knitting one. That one's actually really, really cute. I honestly feel like if you ask me what pack this is supposed to be, I would say movie Hangout. Let's go for our living area next. And we are not going to be using toddler 
stuff. Oh no, I had an idea. All right, well, buckle up. Toddler stuff. Really fun. We've got these pillows, chairs, picnic table, a wagon, a slide, these weird tree stumps. Got balloons, the grill, because everyone knows toddler's favorite activity is grilling. I think we'll do like what would look like a toddler room with those like colors. This is for our living area. And so like, I am gonna use this yellow couch because that's really similar to the yellow in this chair. And then the toddler stuff pillows, once again, mean we should probably use some poofs of some sort. We do love a layered rugs moment. So maybe I will bring in this one is very like toddler stuff-ish. This one is kind of fun. And the frog, oh, let's size up the frog. Can we size up the frog just for like silly goofy vibes? And since we have those tree stumps, I'm wondering if maybe this would not be functional in the game, but I'm gonna take this tree stump from Outdoor Retreat and I'm gonna rotate it so that it's standing upright to kind of like give us those tree stump vibes, right? To represent our ball pit. This is where you really have to hear me out. I know I'm always asking you to hear me out, but I'm gonna draw us a fence. Okay, we're gonna have a little fenced in area. Guess what? We have a bunch of balls from cats and dogs that we can put in our ball pit. It is literally gonna take me a long time. There we go. I did duplicate them so it looks a little more full. It just kind of looks silly, but we do have a ball pit, okay? And guess what? We have these base game balloon light item thingies. I literally almost entirely forgot a toy box, which was really not gonna be good. You know what? There is toddler stuff that is not in the toddler stuff hack. So we can put some like toys. Oh, and a toddler potty. My face, when I realized, I never realized that that was in the game. Journey to Batu, you will always be famous. I literally don't know what else we do. The ball pit is like the, the money maker here, right? I think let's just forget about that and move on into the kitchen. We are not going to be using cats and dogs. I think this one will be interesting because like we didn't get kitchen stuff really with cats and dogs, but I have a couple ideas. The cats and dogs style, I feel like is very like coastal, a bit old fashioned, but not in like a negative sense. And we've got lots of like wood accents, a little bit more rustic. I'm very worried if we do get city living for one of these rooms because I have in fact used city living flooring. So I think for the counters, maybe these horse ranch ones could be really nice. Actually, maybe we want to do the country kitchen cabinet. I feel like those just kind of vibe better with what we're trying to do. I'm not so sure what kind of like balls to do. Obviously we could do like the cat. I mean, we could do the cats. Hear me out. What if we do it because it literally has cats? We could do it on like the actual kitchen walls. Cats and dogs has these like really traditional looking like curtains like that. So maybe I'll use like those one. Call this cheating if you want, but we definitely could add a couple pet bowls from my first pet stuff because say whatever you want about The Sims 4 releasing DLC for DLC, but it does work very specifically for us in this challenge. Like I'm just throwing anything in here. We have this. That's from my first pet stuff. Some of y'all are going to be really mad at me, but like the challenge is to not use that pack and I'm not using that pack. I will say with cats and dogs though, we do have like some some really pretty more traditional pictures. So maybe I'll do that one. I feel like it's similar energy. I could have set the rule in the beginning that my first pet stuff and cats and dogs should count as one, but I'm too deep into it now. So my apologies. I think this is just supposed to be an anthropomorphized toaster with the like little clock and whatever, but it's somewhat of an animal. So we'll add that. I just looked away for this for a couple minutes and then I like looked back and I'm like, no, this is actually really cute. We have like these walls from cats and dogs. I'm thinking maybe we just do like that. Still giving us like that fancier energy. So this is going to be our cats and dogs, but not cats and dogs kitchen. And for the dining room, we are not going to be doing city living. Oh no. I'm very worried if we do get city living for one of these rooms. That's the flooring. Why do I want to say our best bet is this vampire's flooring? Because if you only look at it for a little bit and assume that maybe the lighting is a little off, it's like, oh, maybe they just laid it incorrectly. They laid it diagonally and not horizontally. And with city living, we got a lot of like brick. For the furniture, we got like half dingy, half patterned, and half modern. That's three halves, which is not equal to one, but you can kind of see what I mean. I think we did get more like modern than anything. Wait a minute. I forgot that we got a wall in city living that is literally this wall from get together, but without the baseboard. These are the exact same wall. So obviously we're doing this wall 
wall. Even if I didn't want to do brick, I feel like I'd still be like obligated to do this wall because it literally is a city living wall. I feel like either this one from Seasons is kind of the vibe or this one from Cool Kitchen. Maybe let's do this one. Then why do I feel like we have a really similar chair? Oh yeah, this one from Cool Kitchen is also like the same chair. Not the same, but it's very similar. Do we have like an industrial light? Actually, you know what? I think that one from Eco Lifestyle could kind of be good. This is the one we're trying to replicate. And I was thinking this one, we got a ton of posters and stuff with City Living. So since we use the City Living posters for the movie Hangout, maybe we could use some movie Hangout for City Living. Oh wait, we also have posters from Get Together. The call is coming from inside the house. Oh my God. I maybe should have used these in movie Hangout. This looks like it would maybe have been in City Living. And I think we'll just like keep with the industrial vibes for the clutter. Those are similar vibes. I feel like the season's curtain, the patterns are too nice or simple. And listen, I know it looks really silly, but I feel like we successfully recreated these city living vibes without city living at all. Now we're doing the, this hallway area and then the upstairs hallway area. So we are not going to be using bowling night. Bowling night is very mid century. I'm not sure how much we'll actually get to like even use similar furniture because we don't have that much room. Definitely not going to be able to get a bowling alley. I did always really like this herringbone wall that came with the pack. If we are going mid century, maybe we actually could do like these from Strangerville. I totally forgot that we had these tiles. Now that is very similar to the bowling night. I did make the executive decision to not use any like gallery art because I feel like that would just be silly. Like that just wouldn't make a lot of sense. But maybe let's do that mid century painting. What does it say if I search for like a mid century fence? Oh, this one from City Living. You know what I totally just entirely forgot? We have an office. Something that is like so staple in my mind of the bowling night pack is this like swatch of blue. So I'm like, do we have any wall decorations that are like a similar swatch? You know what? Actually, maybe let's do these because those actually look like bowling pins if you don't think about it. We could do a clock because bowling night does come with a clock. The kinder made clock, why is it kind of giving the same vibes? This is silly because I literally have no place for it. This is a recycled bowling ball bowl from Eco Lifestyle. So I'm actually going to size it down. I'm going to raise it up with my nine key and I'm just going to place it here. Unfortunately, that was a bit anticlimactic, but I also can't fit anything else. So here's our bowling night weird hallways. Let's actually do the office. I literally entirely forgot a door. We are not going to be doing dine out. Okay, now see, this would be probably pretty easy in like a week or two when the new food pack comes out. I'm going to start us off with this like carpet because it's very similar to me to like the flat carpet from the dine out pack. And this one, we do have bricks and we have modern wood paneling. Let's go with bricks. Let's go with our city living bricks. Now we didn't really get a desk in dine out, did we? We do have these like booths. I'm almost wondering if maybe we could do like a couch over here since it is like similar to the booth vibes. I might do the yellow to match our rug also. The dine out tables are all very like wood on the top at least. So I think we can kind of just do like a wooden desk. The dine out plants are really wacky. Like they're so big, but I also love that one. And then that one has a bunch of colors. So this one from Cottage Living and this one from Dine Out are like sisters. Like she's real, she's fake. Maybe this one from Batu, just cause it's so like chunky like this one. The thing about Dine Out is that like other packs came with food related items. Like I'm gonna add some mugs there. Why not? We have a synthetic food rug. We've got a cereal box. Let's do our little tray. Maybe they're like a drink researcher and that's why they have the mugs and all of that on their desk. Dine Out has a lot of like food pictures. Maybe we'll do like a food picture, the picture of the pair from the base game on the desk. Oh my God, the little utensil basket. Let's like lift that up. Maybe they're just like a food researcher in general. Maybe not beverages. Maybe they were just doing beverages today. Oh my God, we have lemon. Maybe instead of like candy on their desk, they offer everybody like a lemon. Oh, I have a good idea for what we can do on the wall. I think you've seen in the past what I can do with debug food. So we maybe don't have to go through all of that again. I literally, I'm so sorry. Sims team, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. But please, I am literally begging you, name the items in the game something normal. I am always looking for an item. I type in towel and then I have to find an item called pyramids of absorption. I type in cutting board. I need to find something called wood block. I type in lunchbox. I have to find something called snack box. You can keep naming them fun things, but make it so that when you search for cutting board, you actually still get the cutting board. I just really would appreciate that. And I think a lot of us would. So for your consideration, naming things in the Sims for something normal. I'm sizing up these utensils. That's like a decoration. And I'm gonna put this like artichoke on the wall. Wait, 
wait, why does that kind of work? That'll be our dine out office without using any dine out. Main bedroom of the house, we will not be using growing together. The way I think this might be kind of easy because I feel like growing together in parenthood are like kind of the same pack in a different font. This bed is so similar to the one from Dream Home Decorator. So maybe let's do that. Like that swatch. This side table has a mirrored top to it. And guess what? We have, I think two side tables with mirrored tops to them. We have this one from Paranormal. Oh wait, we also have this one and this one. We have three other ones with mirrored tops to them. Let's do this one from Vintage Glamour. This is our only dresser that we have from Grow together. We honestly don't have a lot of stuff like it. I feel like maybe we could do this one from Snowy Escape. Okay, look at this mirror. I almost feel like the new mirror that we got in the kit, this one is like kind of similar. You know, it has that like negative space, that open space. And the thing with growing together plants is we only have like two sets of plants that like could really go in a room or a house. Potentially we could do these Snowy Escape plants just because it's also a group of plants. But vibes wise, why do I feel like something like that kind of works. What's interesting to me is that we actually don't have like an official love seat. We have a bench. This to me is similar because they both look the same amount of cozy to me. We have this like antique rug from Growing Together and that honestly reminds me a lot of there's this one from Werewolf and this one from Strangerville. I'm maybe thinking this one from Strangerville just because the Werewolves one is a bit too run down and for walls. We've got like this paneling. Actually the spot A one looks so much better. Why does that look kind of good though? Stacks of books. Maybe that has like family history or something in it. This poster to me is very similar to this one. Maybe we'll do that and then we will get these pictures as well. I feel like we totally achieved our growing together vibes without using growing together at all in this one. So now we have the main bathroom and we are not going to be using Discover University. Discover University is another like kind of two-sided pack in the way that like city living is because there's like two universities. So there's one like really modern and there's one that is not so modern. I think this actually really works for us because this, it does come with a stall. And the way that I do stalls when I'm not using Discover University or like before we had it, I would close off little rooms like that for like a toilet. We already got that going for us. Discover University comes with a wall shower and it was like the one thing that like people loved about that pack until Snowy Escape when we also got a wall shower. So I figure we'll do the wall shower from Snowy Escape, but I do want to like block this off. So I'm going to draw a wall there and I'm going to just take a window from Eco Lifestyle or like any floor to ceiling window, just not from Discover University. I'm gonna make a shower curtain. This actually works. Your Sims will walk right through it, but you can basically take a curtain. That looks like a nice shower curtain and we'll put it there. You actually can do this two ways. You can like delete all your walls around and then like redraw them if you just wanna place it that way. I just spent way too long getting this like perfect. We actually only got one floor with Discover University and it's this geometric carpet, but I was thinking we could instead use our geometric flooring from Eco Lifestyle. And then for walls, we have these. Now I'm wondering if maybe we wanna go with something brick-like. I do love this brick from Get Together. Like, I feel like it's one of the best in the game. We could do this from Country Kitchen. No sinks from Discovery University, so I might just go ahead and do, like, these ones from high school years. And the one mirror that we do have from Discovery University has a bunch of, like, stickers on it. Like, this one. We could do, like, this one from Parenthood. It doesn't have anywhere near as many stickers. I guess we'll simply just do a few posters. Look, we've got some academic ones. This will be our Discovery University bathroom. I don't know if we succeeded that much, but we've definitely done something. We have yet another bathroom and we are not going to be using Jungle Adventure for this one. Jungle Adventure is again, a very specific vibe pack. We have lots of fun tiles. Like look at all of these. We have a really fun tiled shower, two sink options. I feel like maybe we could do these terracotta tiles and maybe somehow, some way we make this work with like the courtyard oasis walls. They're like the only other like pattern tile that we really have. We really don't have like a, a tiled shower that would look really good. Mm. This one with the subway tiles, but I think we all know that's a totally different energy, a different vibe for sure. And the sink, we could do this island living one or we could do this get famous one because it has the same kind of like, what do you call that? Like a basin sink? I don't know. With Jungle Adventure, we did get some like cracks in the walls. Maybe we'll just do like a few of those from vampires. I don't know. But we did get a little like tapestry. And I know we also got a tapestry in the 
horse ranch pack. So maybe we could put that there. Hear me out on this one. I use the jungle adventure plant so much. She is like in my roster of plants I always use. So maybe we use another plant that is in my roster of plants I always use. So mayhaps we go with like the feathered fern. We don't have my beloved jungle adventure mirror. Maybe we'll just do this one from dream home decorator. Do like the wood cabinet above the... I almost just said above the stove. That's not a stove. We get our little rugs, get some clutter on the sink. I'm also adding this piece from Batu to kind of be similar to the wall, like stones that we have in Jungle Adventure. Maybe they like set toiletries on there when they need to set toiletry somewhere. So that is our jungle adventure that is not jungle adventure bathroom. And now we have another bedroom and the pack that we will not be using for the bedroom is snowy escape. For walls, we have these stone tiles, which I honestly think are very, very pretty. We do have like some similar bricks. The snowy escape beds, I love. I was thinking we could do that one from growing together. The kid stuff one also has fun prints. I really like the snowy escape end tables. If I were to choose one that is like pretty similar, I might choose like that one. The one one thing that is similar-ish to Snowy Escape is these Parenthood skateboards. So I almost feel like if I size them up a little bit, we could consider them snowboards. We'll just really hammer it home with some snowflakes, some snowy string lights above each of the beds. We literally just use the Snowy Escape dresser that I love. I do not know what has similar vibes. It's so unique. This one is just like almost a similar wood swat. I'll throw in this snowy picture. I love the Snowy Escape desk. It's like literally my favorite. We'll do that one instead. I'm taking this really literally. I'm doing this as if the room is themed on snow and not snowy escape. I don't know if that's what I should be doing. You know what? I really like this area. I feel like that's pretty cute. Snowy escape did come with my favorite fluffy rug and we do in fact have other fluffy rugs in the game that we could use. I put this picture in because it's called snowy falling on cinders abstract art. This is gonna be our snowy escape bedroom. Now I would love to go back here, backyard. Last but not least, we will not be using spa day. Does spa day even have a hot tub? I don't think it does, but I was gonna add a hot tub. No, spa day doesn't have a hot tub because a hot tub was supposed to just be in perfect patio until they were like, just kidding. You can have a hot tub for free for your birthday, for our birthday, for the Sims birthday. Happy birthday, Sims. I kind of just don't want to have to look at the foundation basically. I mean, I love my spa day tiles. So maybe we do like tiles out here. We have like these chairs. Honestly, maybe these ones from paranormal are pretty similar. Do I want to do like four? I feel like that's called Cult-ish. I love these spa day tables. So do we have like a wooden one? This is like a similar swatch of wood. So maybe we'll do this. I do feel like string lights are very zen. We could put this on the wall, like maybe a little like outdoor spa moment. I'm just putting this in here because I don't have one in the build. We need a pride flag. Butterflies are very tranquil. Same with like whatever that wall art piece is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The thing is, I was going to terrain paint down here, but because I did this grass, that counts as flooring. So you won't see terrain paint under. We do have a fence from Spa Day and it is like a glass fence. Thankfully, we do have other glass fences. What we actually do have is bamboo. Get some bamboo and growing together. So maybe I'll just sneak some around here with like the landscaping. We have nail files and we also have nail polish. With the Spa Day refresh, you can get your nails done. Wait, that's kind of perfect. We actually have so many fun lights from Spa Day. Like they said, here are the lights. Also do not put sparkling beverages, sparkling juice, alcoholic beverages, or nail polish polished by a flame. Never do that, but it's okay because it's The Sims, but I am going to add a candle right there. Someone commented that in the last video. Just pretend that they're like not real flames. It's just LED candles. That is our spa day back patio. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment butterfly because I love the butterflies. This will be up on the gallery if you want to renovate these rooms with the actual packs. That would be cool. I'm going to link another video on the screen for you right now if you'd like to keep watching some Sims challenges. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on Twitch if you ever want to play The Sims together live. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!